Hey guys, yep, we're back, back into it, and we've got a, an amazing request from Bo, little Bo, you legend, thanks for checking in, thanks for commenting and requesting this cracking track, it's a great song by Australian legends ACDC, Akadaka, alright, we're going to have a look at TNT today, Woo! I hope you're pumped, I'm pumped. So we've got a combination of things and one thing it's, it is important to remember is that when I arrange these songs I do try and put them in ways that are achievable and definitely still recognisable for all these beginners. I'm trying to inspire passion and I kind of I do that through making things as achievable as possible. So the passion comes from them being able to achieve it or you being able to achieve it I should say. And then hopefully taking things to, to greater places once, you, once you're able to do these things. So I've put it in a different key. I've actually changed the key. So sometimes with these tracks that I'll give you and these song sheets that I'll give you, they won't always match if you're trying to play along with the songs. They're not, they're not necessarily going to match perfectly. But hopefully you can recognize the song in the way that I've arranged it for you. In saying that, to ukulele anyway. So chances of us playing along with ACDC and getting the same or similar sound are um, a little bit slim, shall we say. Okay, so let's look at what we are going to be doing to start with. We've got a combination of some tab. So if you haven't seen the tutorial on how to understand reading tab, tablature, then I would suggest going to check that out before you try and tackle this one. If you have, Let's get into it. So the first thing, we've got the intro. And the intro, D, F, G, F, G, F, D, F, G, F, G, F. Now you could play the chords. If you're someone who's a little bit more advanced, then certainly try and play those chords. And of course, it's all about the timing of the song to be able to pull that off. Okay. Now this one here is the tab. For this okay you can see that I've put the notes above and we've put the notes on here and what do they stand for those numbers the frets here's our strings so the intro the oi 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 that part we're going D F G F G F D F G F G F D, F, G, F, G, F, D, F, G, F, G, F. Okay, let's have a look at that part to start with. Okay, that intro. So we're going to be starting on the third string, one, two, three, in the second fret. So following that tab that you've got in front of you, we're playing a D here. I'm just playing that third string. Okay, so that's my first note. D, F, G, F, G, F. So again, third string, one, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. So the first note is a D, third string, second fret. The second note is going to be on the second string in the first fret. That's the F. So I'm playing that second string, F, then I go to the third fret, which is the G, G, and then I go back, F, G, F, A little practice at that. How did you get on? Pretty good. So we realize that the notes are D, F, and G. So if you get pretty good at that with the one finger, like I've mentioned in the past, let's get on and try and use other fingers because they're not unfamiliar to you to use these other fingers. We're used to using them when we do our chord shapes. 
So jump on and see if you can try and use those three fingers to make it happen. You're going to go D, F, G, F, G, F, D, F, G, F, G, F, D, F, G, F, G, F, D. Okay, and we're just repeating that. That's that. Oi, oi. That's that part. We have the verse, okay, and you'll see I've just simplified it, or I believe I've simplified it and made it, as I said, achievable. So we're going to start on the D. Now a D is unfamiliar to most of the people looking at these videos so far, so check out your chord banks and look at where your fingers should go. The chart itself, or the download, will have the song, sorry, the chords there for you as well. But let's look at what a D looks like. Okay, so a D, we're going to take our first finger and put it on the fourth string in the second fret. Now look at my hand. I've already shifted it all the way back. Okay, and then I'm going to put my second finger on the third string in the second fret. This is a real squeezer, this one. So first, second, and third, they're all going to go in that second fret. My pinky's not on there. And to get a good sound, you're going to stand them up. Okay, stand them right up. All in the second fret. That's a D. Some of us seeing that D for the first time hard to see in that position. D. Standing those fingers up like that ballet dancer. Stand them right up there. Okay. And then we're going to go to a G. D. to the G, and we're doing four counts on each, so looking at our sheet, we've got another example of where the song starts lyrically, and then we start on the chord, see me right out of the sunset, da 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 da, Okay, so have a look at that. We're going D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, the whole way, Ds and Gs, four on each. You take your song sheet and see if you can play along with that, four on each. Good luck. Okay, so let's try it together. We're just going to work through the song sheet really slowly, just doing four down strums on each. Here we go. See me right out of the sunset on your color TV screen. Out for all that I can get, if you know what I mean. Women to the left of me, women to the just of course did simple down strums for that one you could do one of the strumming patterns if you're getting up to that point remember that four counts is one lot of the pattern so we go see me right out of the sunset on your color tv screen Bit. 
Okay, so the cool bit that you guys love, the chorus. Cause I'm TNT. So we're going, cause I'm G, F, D. Okay, I'm G, F, D. I'm dynamite. So we're going, G, first finger on the third string. Shifting that hand back. Second finger on the first string. Third finger, second string, third fret. G. And we're going to go to the green dots. F. F. And then a new on the D. And you see how I shifted my hand back. Making room. Because I'm D N T. I'm dynamite. D N T. Whatever the words are. Okay, so if you're looking at the chord sheet, you will know that for this part of the chorus, I've done some different numbers. And we can just start by using those really strong down power strokes. It's a really rocky song, really edgy song. So particularly at this part of the song, we can go from doing the strumming, if that's what you were doing through the verse, and just go to these down strums, rock it out. Okay, so looking at your, your chart, your sheet, we're going to go G, F, D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. G, F, D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. G, F, D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. G, F, D, 2, 3, 4, F, 2, 3, G. Okay. See how you go with that. Just take it really slow and then you can speed it up a bit. Okay, so let's just have a go now at playing, still a nice um, slow tempo, playing those chords through. You follow on your chart and we'll add the lyrics as well. Cause I'm TNT, I'm dynamite, TNT, and I win the fight. TNT, I'm power load. TNT, watch me explode. Oh, watch me explode. You'll do it better than me. Good luck.